But I've been hanging out with posh people, like I said. I've brought my friend along with me today. Lily. Please give it a round of applause for Lily. It's my... Thank you. Hi. Thank we, you. Hi, thanks. Hi. We met at um, Hampstead Heath on the train, and basically what was happening was I'd purchased something, and I was getting angry with the customer service. So I was like, I was phoning, like, and I was cussing. And then Lily, you, you saw what was happening. Yeah. And you said I should write a strongly worded email instead. And I said, I've never written a strongly worded email. And Lily, you offered your services to... Correct, yeah, yeah, I offered my services. So what I did was, I said what I wanted to say in this strongly worded okay. email that I've never written before. And Lily, you translated Correct. for me. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you how it went. So I said... I don't know who's going to pick up this thing here, but someone needs to come and pick up this thing now. You get me? To whom it may concern. <laughs> and then I said, when man's travelling on the train, yeah, normally, yeah, it's a minor, yeah, it's calm, yeah, I'm on the northern line, I'm chatting to bare people, it's nice, yeah, but on this occasion, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Normally, when I'm on the train, yeah, didn't have any baby mums I've met on that train. It's nice. And then Lily said... I hope you're well, and you had a lovely weekend. When one normally vacates your establishment, one is normally astonished by the high standard of your product. It's not what I wanted to say, but you, you're getting the gist. I'm like, but on this occasion, yeah, how am I gonna do man like that, yeah? I get off at Holborn, yeah, I do the pling, and I come outside and the thing cost me £10. I had to turn around, look back and say, is man in Dubai or something here? Yeah? Don't take man for a dickhead, you get me? But on this occasion, one is absolutely devastated, disgusted, depressed, dishevelled by the standard of your product. Now, I'd oh, sorry. No, no, you carry on. Look here, yeah, I don't know who needs to deal with this thing here, yeah, but me and my dreadlock brethren called Jeffrey are gonna come down there, yeah, and we're gonna slap everyone here yeah, until I see some type of refund you get, man. <laughs> and then Lily said, Under the Sale for Goods Act 1979, it states that actually you should give me a full refund, otherwise I will boycott your premises and I'll be writing to my local MP. I didn't say none of that shit. But <laughs> she translated it well, and um, London Transport have sent me a freedom pass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been my time, and that's Iona. So we give up for Iona. My name is Rubik Sage. Thank you very much. Thank you.